The next topic is capacitance and capacitors. Capacitance is the ability of a body to store charges. Capacitors or capacitor means an arrangement to store charges. See, the, there is a principle for a capacitor. For any body, if the charge on the body increases, the potential of that body also increases. By Coulomb's law, the potential at a point due to a charge is directly proportional to the charge. Or if the charge on a body increases automatically, the electric field produced by that body also increases. And hence, more work is to be done to move a unit charge against the electric field of that charged body, which amounts to saying that as the charge on the body increases, the potential produced by the body also increases. And we get a relation that the charge Q is proportional to V. And this constant of proportionality C is called by the name capacitance. Or the capacitance is defined as the charge stored per unit potential difference. And this potential difference decreases, the capacitance increases. To make the potential difference decrease, almost most capacitors uses two bodies, two charged bodies separated by an insulator. One of the body is positively charged and the other body is negatively charged. And the total potential difference of this combination will be lesser than the potential of a single body. Because the negatively charged body will produce a negative potential and hence that decreases the net potential of the system. So, this is the basic principle where to decrease the value of potential, we accommodate or to introduce a second body. Normally, if there is a parallel plate capacitor, if there is a positive plate as well as negative plate, positively charged plate and negatively charged plate. And hence, the total potential difference will become V1 minus V2. If there is no plate here, there will be only V1. To decrease the potential difference, I have introduced, we have introduced the second plate which is negatively charged plate. And also, the capacitor stores the energy. The energy stored in a capacitor is equal to the work done to store the charges. Because to charge a capacitor, work is to be done. For example, if you have two plates on a capacitor, this has a charge plus Q and this has a charge minus Q. Initially, what happens is a amount of charge capital Q is taken from this plate, negative plate B and it is given to the plate A. So, that the extra charge A gets is Q and the charge lost by the plate B is Q. So, the charge of this plate B is minus Q and the charge of the plate A is plus Q. As a result, the total energy, it will be integral of V dQ, which is Q by C dQ, because at any instant, let Q be the charge of this plate A and the potential difference is Q by C. When you do this integration, we will get Q square by 2 C. So, this is the energy of this of a capacitor. This can be written as half Cv square or half Qv. And charging and discharging of capacitors. For charging a capacitor, we connect it to a battery. Initially, the charge on the capacitor is 0. As the battery is connected to the capacitor, the charge on the capacitor gradually increases and finally, it reaches a maximum saturation charge. And at that time, the potential will remain constant. As the charging takes place, the potential gradually increases and the charge also gradually increases. And the potential 
of uh, potential difference across the capacitor is equal to the EMF of the battery. And during discharging, when we connect a closed circuit across the ends of the plates, across the plates of a capacitor, charge flows from positive plate to negative plate through the external circuit. In that case, the potential gradually decreases. When we separate the plates of the capacitor, what happens is the value of the distance between the plates increases and hence the capacitance decreases. Since the charge on the capacitor remains the same that is Q is equal to Cv and since capacitance decreases and charge remains constant the voltage or the potential difference across the capacitor increases and the value of energy half Qv increases because charge remains the same potential difference increases and hence the energy stored in the capacitor also increases. But the electric field of the capacitor remains the same. Effect of dielectric when we introduce a plate of dielectric between the plates of a capacitor, the potential difference between the plates of the capacitor decreases because the electric field inside the dielectric is opposite to the electric field produced by the plates of the capacitor because of the polarization. The electric field produced by the plates of the capacitor produces induced polarized charge in the dielectric and that dipoles oriented that is same direction or uh, dipoles produces an electric field which is just opposite to the external electric field or the electric field produced by the capacitor and hence between the plates of the capacitor the electric field tends to decrease of the opposing effect by the dielectric and hence the potential difference which is the product of the net electric field and the distance between the plates of the capacitor decreases and hence the effect of the introducing capacit uh, dielectric is that the capacitance tends to increase because of the decrease in potential difference and the amount of increase in capacitance is k times c naught because the value of the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is epsilon naught a by d where a is the area of the plates and d is the separation of the plates of the capacitor and in this case becomes k times epsilon naught a by d. Suppose this is the case when the whole space is filled with the dielectric and if it is filled with the distance t then it will be epsilon naught a by d minus t of 1 minus 1 by k. So, this is the capacitance when a dielectric of thickness t is introduced between the plates of the capacitor where the distance between the plates of the capacitor is d and suppose we introduce a conductor between the plates of the capacitor then also the capacitance tend to increase because inside a conductor the electric field is 0 therefore the potential difference between the plates of the capacitor decrease because of the decrease in the distance where the electric field is there. So, the capacitance uh, increases the potential becomes E0 into D minus T if this is T and this is D and hence the capacitance C is equal to Q by V again increases. 